All right, I always give that advice. Just leave it to the experts. There's yeah. going to be so much better than what we could put on in our backyards anyway. Uh, absolutely. And you know what? Let them do that. And I'm letting mom and dad cook for today. So it's a, it's a win-win in my book. Hey, mom, don't forget the tahini for the watermelon, by the way, if you haven't made it to the grocery store the past few days, which I know she's been doing. All right. Uh, appreciate you cooking so much, mom. 101 will be the high today cooking us, Mother Nature. Uh, but then we have a change on the way going into Friday. 93 degrees, morning storms on the way for us. So late night rain and a few storms can't be rolled out. And the 90 degree temperatures through the weekend and into next week. First alert, satellite and radar combined. Not a whole lot happening for us right now. We have some cloud cover up in parts of Oklahoma with the cold front on the way. High pressure in the upper levels is breaking down, allowing that frontal boundary to slide its way down to the south. At the surface right now, we have southwest winds at 15. So with the southwest component to the winds uh, and the sunshine, we're going to be seeing temperatures continue to warm their way on up to the triple digits, I think. We're in the mid 80s for us right now. A lot of moisture, though, is in place. Uh, so right now, 84 in Grand Prairie feels warmer than that. We're at 85 at DFW, feeling like the low 90s. We get even hotter than that. It feels like 94 on Bonham and 94 in Denton right now. On our way up to feels like temperatures near 109 today, despite the actual high temperature being 101. So that heat advisory remains in place for all of North Texas until 8. Other story that we've been talking about continuing to track Hurricane Barrel making its way off towards the west at 20 miles per hour with winds at 120. Now, here are the uh, spaghetti models in a sense, and we say that when they're tightly packed together, it means really good forecast consistency. But then you notice in that five day period how those lines spread out. That's what we need to look at. And the official forecast track does show Barrel approaching the Yucatan by tomorrow morning. And then as it gets into the Gulf, tropical storm, but then right before it makes landfall again, at least right now, if it takes that perfect center track, in northeast sides of Mexico at category one. But you notice from Corpus Christi down through Brownsville included in that cone of uncertainty. We'll keep our eyes on that. Also keeping our eyes on tropical moisture being pulled up here into North Texas as barrel gets closer towards parts of Mexico and maybe even to South Texas. What that means for you is rains on the way. Front moves in late tonight. I don't expect any problems for our fireworks displays. We'll see 93 Friday, Saturday, 92 and then into next week, even the weekend 94 Sunday next week. That's when our rain chances start to go up. Depending on barrel, we'll see 90 on Monday by Tuesday, only 89 degrees.